Free TV in association with getoutofdebtfree.org. To get to the what I'd say is the heart of the beast. Now, if I come to you and uh, you don't know me, and I've got a good rating with Experian and Equifax and whoever, and I come to you and I would like to borrow uh, ten thousand pounds and you're going to loan me that money, where does that money come from? Okay, so you're talking about you're talking about the sponge. What is a bank? Where do we get money from? How That's do right. we how yeah. do we Take where does the money come from? Out. You know, because we are given the idea that if everyone has a little bit of savings and I come along and I want to borrow £10,000 off you, then it's everyone else's money that you're actually lending me. Is that correct? It's, it's, it's a little bit more complicated than that. <laughs> yeah. I thought okay. it was. <laughs> so, right, the, if we reverse right all the way back, where did banking start? I mean, it started basically as the Italians funding the Crusades. The, the, you know, that, that's where banking came comes. Effectively, that's kind of, that's how, you know, banking developed. Um, what, you know, in a simple way, what happened was you started to get these emerging classes, and these emerging classes, uh, you know, during the industrialised nations, found they had extra wealth, additional wealth. What they do, they take it to the goldsmiths, silver merchant, and as they sit on that, the goldsmith, silver merchant would say, well, it's up there, they're only, you know, got £100 there, they're only taking out £10. So what am I going to do with this extra money that's up there? Well, Mrs. Miggins down the road, she needs a, you know, she, she needs an extension on the house. I'll, I'll loan her that, and I'll make her. So that's basically that is the sponge. That's our. That's the, the fundamentals of our business, and that's kind, that's kind of how it works. Perfect. And then you reserve. Yeah, perfect. And then you've got you've got all the icing on top, which is you know all the additional stuff, insurances, investments, and all the weird and wonderful stuff. However, the reality is we overexpose ourselves as organisations, we take massive risks. So we will have a scenario where at the end of the month we get a lot of deposits coming in, okay, to our <laughs> accounts because people are getting paid. Okay, we're talking, you know, tens and tens of billions of pounds flooding into in, into our coffers most of that isn't on deposit and it's going to leave quite quickly okay so for a period our books are looking very healthy we're lending we will we'll be lending a lot of money on that however when all that money flows back out which it will where do we get our money from because all of a sudden we've run out and that's what the library is okay that's where we go and not other financial institutions, we trade and we need money back in our coffers immediately and that's what it is. Effectively you're just trading money all the time. Is that promissory notes? No, it's the live so it's the London Interbank rate. So that's okay. that's the rate in which we lend to each other. Because all different financial institutions are gonna have you know, throughout a month are gonna have ups and downs in terms of just purely the funds we have available right. to us and it is it where we, things are run so tightly to such vast amounts of money this is happening on an, an hourly and a minute and a minute right just to keep that sponge in place just to keep that money there the fraction on the reserve meets the quota set by the fsa or the yeah, well that, and to be honest with you, that's that's just absolute. You know, there's no, we're so far away from it. The reality is, because um, as far as I can understand it, it's, it's basically the London. What's it called? Like the London Inter Interbank, Interbank rate. Yeah. Interbank rate. For example, if we stop lending, if all the financial institutions stop lending yeah. to each other, the banking system would collapse because the money exactly isn't there. The so money is not that's there. Why, that's why lending has been happening. <laughs> yeah. Basically, the central bank uh, will write a, create a bond. We'll, we'll keep it really simple here. So, yeah, I know it's yeah. obviously a little bit more complicated, but just to, for everyone's uh, sort of basic comprehension here, 
central bank creates a bond, okay? They then, on that bond, they can then fractionalise the bond and give a little bit to all the uh, high street yeah. banks, which yeah. then yeah. fractionalise them again, uh, probably each time, let's say, between 8 to 10 to 1. Is that correct? Yeah, that, that, that happens all the time, yeah. Uh, so, um, effectively, you're creating money on a computer keyboard. Yeah, it's yeah. not real money. You were saying you had to go as far as you were. Well, uh, uh, right, by, by law, we do. Yeah, of course we do. But we do. There'll be a few people around the, around the table. Is that, that is referring to a corporate fiction and not the blood and blood living being. Uh, you are, you are a corporate entity. Yeah. When I sign my credit card agreement, yes. does the bank sign it? The credit card agreement? Yes. yes. <laughs> ah. no so would you say that it then is a unilateral He's <laughs> got a job. He's got a job. I'm a, I'm a retail banker. Okay? I'm not. I'm not a city banker. Debt Free TV, in association with GetOutOfDebtFree.org.